Three, two, one. We are live. How's everybody doing today? Giving it a moment. Hello, darling. Here we are live. Um, welcome to this full moon. Full Leo moon saying hey. Nope, Leo. Full Virgo moon saying hey. Whew. Hey, details. Hey, all the things. Hey, emotions. Hey, insecurity. Hey, um, talents. Hey, service given. Hey, body. How's your body feeling? How are your, um, how's your heart feeling? How is your, uh, how is your sense of, uh, um, worthiness and, um, what's the word that I'm looking for? Your sense of purpose feeling. So all of my, uh, full moon videos are live on the Facebook and the Instagram. So if you haven't seen that, go check it out. Um, did one for each sign. Watch your sun sign, your moon sign, and your rising if you want a holistic roundabout look as to what the energies are. Um, it's so funny because the the trajectory of this of this of this bleep ramp up to the moon has been like. You are, you can't do it. You can't, you can't, you can't, you can't. You did, you did. Yay, celebration, yay. Okay. It happened. You post, you filmed the videos, you posted them, yay. Silence. <laughs> Just nothing. And um, I have to tell you, it's uh, it's a little difficult. It's a little difficult. It's a little difficult to put so much work into something, and um, so much effort, so much work, so much time into something, and then have it not be received the way that you hope it to be received. And there's a lot of things, hi, boo, boo There's a lot of things that um, are going into it. You know, in this case, we're working against algorithms. In this case, we're working against things. This isn't a conversation of, of, um, people aren't liking what I'm doing. This is a conversation of, I'm doing so much work and it feels like there's just, there's just this, there's just this over and over and over and over again. And it's fatiguing. And normally after about three, five, the 10th time of this, I would say, okay, well, how can we, how can we work the system? How can we, how can we, um, how can we, how can I change for the system? And this time I'm like, I'm not changing a goddamn thing. I'm not going to do anything because I know that it is being received, and those people that are receiving it are receiving it for a reason. And those people that will receive it will receive it when they receive it. And I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna keep doing. I'm gonna keep, keep putting my shit out there for, for the peeps. Because it feels different. It 
This reading is, is going to be, um, uh, I'm going to need to hear everything that comes out of my mouth for this reading. <laughs> so, this is the Six of Wands. Um, you finally are ready to fly away. You finally are ready to soar. You finally are ready to exit the darkness. We'll come back to that. Two of Cups. You can't handle this. Upside down, the Empress. And then Fate, the Wheel of Fortune. Okay. So what we have here is from... From the darkness of your creativity, from the blindness of your creativity, from the details of the Virgo creativity, we create, we, we do it, we, we, we get detailed about it, we actually achieve it, and then we fly away. And then we come out of our cocoon, and then we exit and we soar. So where are you in your own journey? Are you still in your cocoon? Are you trying to navigate through the, through the, through the sticks? Where are you in this resurgence? Where are you in this flight? Where are you in this, in this beautiful, beautiful butterfly? This says, make sure to continue to keep your cup full so that you can be full for your partner. This says, exalt the femininity within you. Exalt your divine feminine. Exalt your roots. This is not, this is unrooted, unconnected to earth. Unconnected to the energy of earth, the purpose of earth. Too much flight. We're soaring, 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 soaring. Nary an anchor. We got a root. We got a plant. And I think, and this is directly under it, right? So this says where we are feeling like, hello, where we are feeling like we're in the darkness, it's because we're unrooted, right? So when we root, then we can actually fly away. That's what this would look like. And then fate. What I have a hard time with with this is the silence. How do we do the silence? This says, within the silence, we are able to envision our own future. We're stuck with these two things. Our own future and our darkness, our emotional darkness, our emotional fatigue, our emotional brokenness. The overwhelmingness of our emotions. Okay, so how do you see your future through the emotions? Your roots, your childhood, this is this, the six of, the six of cups says what is the health of your tree? What's going on? This says, this says, um, uh, in the description of the book, this is like, old friends are going to resurface and you're going to have like, uh, people coming out of the woodwork saying hi, saying how you doing, saying what's going on. So this is like a, a check-in with your past, a check-in with, with your, with your, the, the, your systems, your roots, in terms of, yes, over, over time, you have had 
maybe some dark, some dark attachments, but you've also had a lot of light. So what, what are you actually rooting to? What is this? What is this? Also six, six, six of cups, six of creativity. Now the five has been coming up a lot in, in the readings. Five is the furthest away from one, furthest away from 10, right? It's the, how far out can we go? Six says we're on our way back. We've imbued the lesson. What was the lesson? The lesson was look at your internals in a wonderful way. That was the lesson. Look at what you have in a wonderful way. Look at what you created in a wonderful way. Look at your wonderful creations. See what you've done as wonderful. Okay. Yesterday, on my bike ride, I did that. Had a wonderful moment. It was beautiful. It was stunning. There's still isolation within the six. We're not full, we're not full 10 exuberance yet. We're on our way there. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Right? Six is fly, fly through your, mm, 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 mm. hold on, hold on, hold on, it's coming. Fly. Fly through your past in order to get to your correct future. Fly through your memories. Fly, fly through the moments of attachments in order to get to what is correct for you. Seven. Understand the secrets. Understand the light. Then we get to 10. <laughs> then we get to 10. Then we get to radiant, 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 emotional correctness, emotional love, emotional exuberance. So, As we are navigating the journey, as we are navigating the polarity of the Piscean closure with the details of Virgo saying, stick to what you know, create, create, create. Don't wait for anybody to tell you to do it. Don't question it, just do it. I think one of the beautiful things that came up in in the readings that I did was, was the, the Virgo energy is the island of in the middle of the deep sea, right? The island where as we're swimming, we surface and we say, okay, we get to sit on earth for a bit. We get to sit in the sun for a bit and we get to take a break from the swimming. We get to take a break from the, the currents, the currents of, of memories, memories and creativity and dreams. I've been having some crazy dreams recently. And as we're on, as we're on this island, we get to check in with how we're doing. How are you doing? Not how's your partner? How are you doing? Are you connecting to the earth? Are you connecting to your reverence, to your femininity? And fate brought you to this island. There's a reason why you are 
taking a break from the waters, taking a break from the moments. And it says to understand what your true purpose is and shine a light into the darkness of your dramas and emotional attachments. So that you know exactly what to heal. Exactly what to shine radiant energy towards. So that we can then say, I am correct now. I, I, will, I will ripple this out. So, I said we would do a little, a little, uh, a little meditation. So, let's sit down, plant your feet. Take a nice little, like, get comfy. Take a deep inhale. Take an exhale. Close your eyes, keep them open, do whatever you need to. Clock into your body. Become aware of your body. Become aware of your facility. Become aware of your health. Where are you hurting? Where are you? Where are you harboring energy? Where are you feeling an exuberant amount of energy? Where are you feeling confused? Where are you feeling wound up, bound up tight? If you just said to yourself, well, I don't know, then ask. Hey, body. How am I feeling? Hey, body. How are we doing? Send the focus all the way down to the balls of your feet. Inhale from below and exhale, bring the focus all the way up to the crown of the head. From here, inhale above, exhale, bring all the Inhale from below, exhale up, inhale from above, exhale all the way down. Bring your hands to your heart. Your heart is the center of both. The center of above, the center of below. The center of the island, the center of your waters. The center of your earth, the center of your air element, the center of your fire, it is all here. It is all felt here. It is all found here. Inhale the loving energy from below and bring it into your heart. 
Exhale into your palms. Inhale the loving energy from above. Exhale into your heart. Into your palms. Fueling your hands with love. Bringing love into your palms. Your heart is right here. Your arms are an expression of your heart. When you touch, you touch in love. Be very specific about what you do with this touch. Place your palms radiating with love to the area of your body that is sore, that is hurting, that is giving you pain, that is giving you something, that is trying to send a message. Place your hands on that area of your body. Allow love to radiate into that area, sending healing radiance to your area of need. Bring your hands to your heart. Emotions are beautiful, emotions are correct, emotions are necessary, emotions are part of our journey. Flight is necessary, visibility is necessary, love is necessary, exuberance is necessary. You filling your cup, advocating for your own emotions and your own flight is a necessity. Rooting into the earth, connecting to reverence, connecting to love, connecting to the energy of nature is a gift. Fate will move like a pendulum. It will be fast. It will be slow. It will be difficult. It will be ferocious. It will be something that we never, ever, ever thought was part of our journey. Something that we always knew was coming. We are ready for fate. We are ready for mobility. We are ready for the next adventure. We are ready for love. We are ready to receive clarity. We are ready to receive love. Thank you for those who have stayed live today. <laughs> you are very 
beautiful. The guides are saying, keep going. Keep creating, keep breathing. Keep loving. So, let's do that. Let's keep doing that. I'm going to go have a beautiful evening. You. Oh my God, the new, the moon, the moon is like right here. If you can go look at the moon, go inhale the energy of this moon. And ask, what do, what do I need to know from you? What do I need to know? And then listen. Oh, she's beautiful. I will see you tomorrow. And we will do another one of whatever we do. Okay? You are all perfect. Goodbye.